I'm a homeschool communicator for Columbia Public Schools. I've been with this district since 1994, with the exception of one year, when I uh, left to give my son the opportunity to be in a classroom by himself. Uh, but as a homeschool communicator, I, like the woman who just spoke to you, get to see what happens with students on a daily basis. And on a daily basis, I also get to see what happens with our teachers. Um, I, I get to see teachers who are kicked and hit and bitten. I get to experience that myself. And fortunately, that's the time that we live in. Things are happening with our, with our students. We have to have a way to protect other students in our classrooms. We have to have a way to protect ourselves. Um, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about an, an eight-year-old in a third grade classroom or a 16 or 17-year-old in, in a, a high school classroom. It's happening all over the district. Now, before anyone says that, that I, I'm maybe a, a sellout or anything, I, I'd like for you all to know that I'm the daughter of a slave and the daughter of slave owners. My mother is white. My father is black. I'm one of those people who's right down the middle of the road. Here's what I see. We are an institution that is here to educate. We don't always have all the resources that we need to handle these extra situations, but we do the best that we can. For me, on a daily basis, it's an honor to sit down with one of these kids who's in crisis, climb underneath the table, put my feet up on the table and kick it like he or she is and say, wow, it really looks different from down here. I wanna take a look at your perspective, from your perspective. I wanna be able to understand what you're feeling and I want you to know that I'm feeling that right there with you. Because homeschool communicators, that's what we do. But sometimes even we are not good enough. Even we are not enough. We're always good enough, I can tell you that. <laughs> but even we are not enough. So we have to go the extra mile. For the sake of all of our children, for the sake of all of our employees, you have to do what's right. You have to do what's right. One more thing that I wanna say is this. Equity doesn't always mean that I get my way. Here's what it means. It means that I allow my eyes to be open to the fact that there are other people in this world and around me who have opinions and lifestyles different from mine, but that still matter. Thank you.